Toronto home prices keep falling. Are we moving towards a buyer's market? In this video, we'll take a look at the ever-evolving Toronto real estate market and where we currently sit. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Morgan Little. I'm a Toronto-based realtor and real estate investor. If at any time you wanna chat about buying or selling or just talk about the market in general, don't hesitate to book a call by clicking my Calendly link in the description. All right, let's get into this. So is the market crashing or are we simply moving from a seller's market into a balanced or even a buyer's market? I'm sure by now you've started to notice the shift in the Toronto housing market. It's actually been happening for the past few months, but it's taken a while for the average home seller to catch on to this trend and realize that they're not gonna fetch the same prices for their home that they ha may have in February or March. Now, it is in part a realtor's role to help educate both buyers and sellers on the state of the market, but it can also be a challenge when a seller, all they can see is that their neighbor sold for X amount in February or March and they think they should be able to get the same. It's understandable. But the truth is the market determines what your house is worth. It's not the homeowner, it's definitely not the realtor. A realtor's job is to educate and guide a seller through the process. However, we can't tell you what to list your home for. So ultimately, if a home seller decides they wanna list it for a certain amount, that's their call. But like I said, the market will then tell them what it's worth and what someone is willing to pay for it at that point in time. But I digress. Are we moving towards a buyer's market in Toronto? Well, if you read the headlines in the media, you'd think the whole market crashed and prices have plummeted. And the truth is that's really not the case. Yes, the number of home sales has decreased over the last couple months. And yes, the selling price has also come down, but it's coming down from an all time high. We're still looking at low inventory and we're still looking at historically high sale prices. So what are some of the causes of that? Well, let's talk about it. There are many factors we can talk about, but let's discuss a couple here. So number one, some sellers who had a number in mind when the market was at its peak are now realizing they're no longer going to get that inflated price and are deciding just to hold off on selling. If they're not in a rush or in a dire need to sell, they're just gonna wait. They were just hoping to take advantage of that hot market, which is now passed them by. This is adding to the already low inventory that we've had and that we would normally see in May and June. Add to that the Bank of Canada, who's continued to raise interest rates to fight inflation. This has made a lot of buyers take pause and think about waiting it out. Now, the thing about that is interest rates are still relatively at low levels, historically speaking. So getting a pre-approval now and getting locked into a rate hold and then taking your time to find a home in the current market could prove to be very beneficial for some uh, as there's opportunity out there with sellers who aren't getting the offers that they were expecting. Just my two cents. We're currently sitting at about two months, just over two months of inventory in Toronto, where three months of inventory would indicate a balanced market. So as of now, we certainly aren't in a buyer's market, though, like I said, I do see opportunity for buyers right now. And you know what, we're not in a balanced market quite yet either, but I do foresee us heading that way as the year progresses. All that being said, I've said this before, real estate is a long-term play and or investment. If we look at short-term data, it's easy for people to freak out, and that's where a lot of these market crash headlines come in and help fuel these fears. The truth is, prices needed to come down a bit. The average price of a home in the GTA in 2017 was somewhere in the mid 800s. Now it's at 1.2 million. That's a big jump. But again, don't fixate on the short term, especially if you bought at the height of the market. Seeing the prices decline now can be stressful, but your focus should be on enjoying your home over the next five, 10, 15 years, whatever that might be. You're gonna live in it and not worrying about the month to month changes. The question everyone's asking is when will prices stop falling? And that's a great question. I wish I had the answer. We're looking at potentially another rate hike in July and maybe in September as well. And with the summer months usually being a little slower in real estate, it's probably looking like August into September where we start to see some sort of order restored to the market. I do not have a crystal ball, but that is my take on it. So we'll see what happens. But I would like to know your thoughts. Do you think the market is set for a crash? Do you think we'll move into a buyer's market before the end of the year? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna have a chat further about this topic, feel free to set up a call with me by clicking the link in the description. Again, my name is Morgan Little. As always, I encourage you to get just a little bit better each and every day. Till next time, stay well and stay hungry. Ciao.